We live in a golden age of sex toys. From vibrators to violators, rabbits to rings, there is a plethora to suit every taste. Eye-opening advice about what to do if you get a sex toy stuck in your rear so let's not get carried away and lose our favorite friend inside our own vajayjay. You may laugh, but it has happened. You can get a little carried away, and the next minute you're on the internet looking for articles titled, I don't know, something along the lines of, what to do if you get a sex toy stuck in your vagina. It's okay, I'm here to help. 1. It's not going anywhere unlike getting stuff stuck up your bum, the vagina comes with its own blockade the cervix. That's a little, hard wall which you might feel occasionally if you're scooping around with your fingers. It stops strange things going into the womb, it's almost as if mother nature knew this s would happen. That's not to say you can just leave whatever you like in there, it has to come out in case it starts causing smells, discharge, and infections. Your vaginal canal is also perilously close to your bladder, so you don't want anything to rupture. Yeah, rupture. 2. Ask for help if you can if you have been using a toy with a partner, then they can use their fingers to see if they can find its new hiding place. However, be sure to let them know if they've found what they're looking for. If you doubt it, in any way, just stop and seek medical advice. I know the feeling. You can feel a bit of pressure, but you're not sure if it's their fingers, the toy, or you just need a wee. Have a pause, and a wee, and come back to it. It's honestly not worth being pulled inside out by your cervix. 3. You can do this if you're by yourself, yeah you'll have to try with your own fingers. Sit as upright as you can using a bedstead or a wall and excavate around in there. If that's still not working, try squatting and bearing down. Squatting will let gravity help you out, and bearing down is basically pushing as if you were giving birth, or having a big dump. And relax. Tightening your muscles through stress is the worst thing you can do. Ironic, right? 4. Make sure it's all there, so if you have managed to rescue your loved one from the abyss, check everything is in its place. That's right, I'm talking batteries. In fairness, I've never heard of anything falling out of a sex toy. Your vagina and surrounding areas are made of soft, enveloping flesh. If you have managed to unscrew a vibe to the point the batteries fell out, then I can only congratulate you on your magic vagina. However, some do have sliding functions which could lead you into all sorts of trouble. 5. Know when to give up. There's no point in continuously digging if your search is turning up fruitless over time. You're only going to do more harm by possibly scraping the vaginal walls with your fingernails, which will increase the risk of infection. Health professionals have seen it all before, and you can go to your nearest sexual health clinic as well as a. They have all the equipment you'll need. 6. Prevention experts will always recommend you only use things designed to go inside you in the first place, so stick with vaginal sex toys rather than foodstuffs and animate objects. If your partner is using a cock ring, make sure it fits well. It's one of the more common toys to get lodged in there. Also a little tip for the guys, make sure your cock ring isnt too tight. Either having to get that one off takes sharp implements that you don't want near your genitals. Save yourself the threat of the scalpel and go for one with a kick release. Once it's out, do I need a checkup if you manage to get it out without hurting yourself and within a couple of hours then you should be okay. Keep an eye out for discharge and any strange smells, but sex toys are non-toxic. I'm worried about scratching myself. Should I be yes? Go and seek medical advice rather than hurt yourself looking for it. If you scratch too much you open yourself up to infections. Help I've been trying for hours and I still can't find it. This might seem a dumb suggestion, but don't forget to look around where you were using it. It might have slipped. Also, give yourself time to breathe and relax before you try bearing down. I know that kind of advice sounds like have you tried switching it off and on again, but yeah will be amazed at how good a grip you have down there when you're least expecting it. It's big a weird shape and I'm worried about pulling it out, again, time to seek medical help. Your nearest sexual health clinic would be ideal as they have less waiting times than a. Plus, they have definitely seen it all before. Miranda's sitcom, Slaving Away, is available from audible.com or you can win £3,000 if you can come up with a brilliant idea for a sex toy more a day in the life of a sex worker. Here's what we really get up to more. Here's what to do if the condom breaks while you're having sex.